So welcome back everyone, Zach here. We're uh, finally back at the farm after about eight or nine months off of, you know, taking a break from doing <laughs> YouTube videos and filming myself doing work. I uh, have kept busy in that time, but they haven't been very easy or YouTube friendly projects to kind of show everyone. So I'm gonna use today's video as a little bit of an update on, on what's going on up here at the farm and where we're at and some other you know things we have happening and uh, take you guys along for the ride so with that we're gonna jump right into it so the first thing you'll see that we have going on behind me is this great big pile of 2a crushed limestone if my math holds out that should give me about a three inch topping course the whole length of the driveway with really desperately needs it it's uh I imagine been quite a few years since any stone was put down on it and it's definitely soft and needs the help so so I shopped around a couple local quarries to us in Pennsylvania and the cheapest and easiest place I found to work with got me the stone for twelve dollars and fifteen cents a ton there was around a hundred dollar delivery charge per truck I got two trucks with each one holding between 22 and 23 tons so that worked out to be three hundred and ninety dollars a truck or seven hundred and eighty dollars for both to have the stone delivered from the quarry to the farm and dumped at the end of the driveway to do the project the next thing i'll take you guys down to see is where one of the two deliveries got off the driveway a bit and i'm still not entirely sure how he managed to not get his truck stuck because it certainly looks like <laughs> he was close so we'll take a look at that next and then keep going through some of the projects today so I'll talk to you guys behind the camera here for a minute because I can't really get the angle to show you where this guy tore up the drive and be in front of the camera at the same time but so I don't know here if he has just managed to back and continue backing up out of it or if he got in and had to pull forward but it's definitely you know a hell of a rut and he really got off to the side of the driveway here i mean this has got to be he's got to be 12 inches down off the edge here i mean i can stick my boot in a puddle of mud and really show you guys so yeah don't know how he managed to get in there and not get stuck, but there's where they backed up. That'll give me, you know, make a little extra work for me to kind of get the drainage on the side of the driveway running down better. But here we are, and at least I got the stone and didn't get a call that I had to pull this guy out of my driveway. So next what we're going to do in preparation for the stone and spreading that is I'm going to go down the driveway first with the uh, leaf blower I think the backpack blower is a uh, Echo 770H it's uh, I believe their highest end model and it it does wonders it runs great and it's easy to use so I'm really happy with that piece of equipment and then from there There we're going to take either the Echo Weed Whacker or this steel combination tool with the uh, hedge clipper attachment and run back and kind of clear some of the prickers and other brush that's kind of creeping in on the driveway. So we'll get some action shots of that. It's probably pretty boring, but I'm going to walk around and you're going to watch me with the leaf blower on my back. Let's do it. 